Hey everyone, it's Justine and welcome to a new video. Today I am looking at the new Nuvo Expanding Mousse from Tonic Studios. And I've shown the mousse before in previous videos, the regular mousse. This is an example of the regular mousse. It spreads onto your paper, either over a stencil or you can apply it using paper towel. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. But I just wanted to show you how it looks in comparison to the expanding mousse before we get started at looking at the expanded mousse in general. So it's a very, very glimmery, shiny mousse that spreads like butter. And it doesn't really have much of a texture. It's very shine, very sleek. And this here is the embellishment mousse, which you can see is a little bit more on the duller side. The colors are a little bit more neutral, but they're a lot of fun because when you add heat to them, they expand. So you'll see what happens when I try and add heat to the Nouveau mousse. All that it does really is just dry it quicker. Nothing happens to the actual mousse itself. But when I go to the expanding mousse, you'll notice that a lot of the texture comes up and it creates sort of a bubbly appearance, which is really fun for things like mixed media cards and techniques. But as you know, I'm not really a mixed media kind of girl, so I did want to show you some techniques that I used and some cards that I created in my own style. This is, by the way, what they look like just shortly after they dry. I just wanted to show you what it looked like at the end. I also wanted to mention that before we get started, the more mousse you add to your sheet, so the thicker the layer, the more it's going to expand. You can see the texture of it in the pot there, and I'm going to put all the different colors that are available, starting with Tuscan Gold and moving on to Boatyard Blue, which is a really pretty navy color. Then we have Bramley Apple, which is that beautiful apple green, but you'll notice that they are very much duller and more neutral than the standard Nouveau, Glo Nouveau Mousse. Then we have Red Leather, as well as Misted Mauve, Worn Linen, which is a beautiful off-white color, and Mustard Seed. Now this is perfect for mixed media techniques and mixed media enthusiasts because there's so much you can do with your backgrounds. But I did also want to mention and give you several inspirational ideas on how to use these with more clean and simple style cards. Because as you know, that's truly my style is more the clean and simple look. I also wanted to do two different swatch samples to show you what it looks like when you heat up the embellished mousse, the expanding mousse, right away versus when you let it sit and then heat it up. You're going to get two different looks. So if you heat it up when it's still wet, when you just apply it, I find you get more of a reaction from the expanding mousse. It expands more and is just a lot more textured versus if you leave it to dry and then expand it. You have a little bit less of the expanding happening, but it doesn't really matter how long you wait with the mousse on there. You can leave it on there for a few days, a month, a year, it doesn't matter. It will expand with heat. It just depends on how much as to where you heat it up in the drying process. So here you can see what it looks like, and I have it written at the bottom of the swatches here, what it looks like when I heated it up straight away versus waiting a little while. Now that I have all of the information I believe that you need for the expanding mousse, let's get started on some card inspiration. So I've started off by adding a piece of purple tape here to the back of my cardstock, which is going to help me keep my stencil in place. The first stencil I'm using is Simon Says Stamp Circular Lace. I wanted to find something that was very intricate to show you how it looks on such an intricate stencil and how well it spreads over top. So I'm going to once again secure now my stencil itself to my Tim Holtz glass mat here. This is perfect surface for working with this because I could just wipe everything up when it's finished and I don't have to worry about staining any sort of uh, cutting mat or anything like that. So I'm grabbing a nice healthy amount. As I mentioned earlier, the more mousse you add, the more texture you're going to get. But I still do want to keep true to my stencil and keep things rather simple and intricate. So I spread it just as if I were to spread peanut butter over my toast. And this is a beautiful palette knife from Tonic that I find really flexible, nice and flat. I used to have a pointed one and it kind of came together in a, in a slightly smaller point than when it started. And I found that that was creating a little bit of a dent in my work. And so I really like using this one here where it's all one length and all one thickness. 
So here I am, I'm going to lift up the stencil now that I have it all nice and covered here and I'm going to get this really beautiful result when I lift it up. You can see the stencil worked perfectly on here, no issues whatsoever with the mousse escaping underneath the stencil or anything like that. It's just a really stunning result. Now I'm going to apply some heat to the card panel now and you're going to take a look at how it expands and everything like that. Be sure to watch the next card example because I actually have my one of my cameras set up on an angle where you can see it horizontally and see the mousse come up. So I'm going to zoom in now and just really give you an up close look and I hope you'll be able to see it from both the top and then as well as the side. Now this stencil in particular is very, very intricate, so it's a lot of small areas. And I find the thicker the areas, the more you're going to be able to see that bubble up. So you're seeing some of the thick areas, especially in the center, going and reacting quite a bit with that bubbly texture, whereas some of the smaller areas it's kind of hard to tell. So you can see here what it looks like when it's all finished and it has just a really gorgeous texture on top. I absolutely love this look. I ended up going in and actually cutting down some of the areas and added them to a front of the card just because I do want to show you a lot of clean and simple examples and therefore cutting down certain elements of my background is really going to help that. You can see that the final card is topped up with a Hello Script die from Tonic that also comes with the really fun background as well. So you have the die cut mounted on a background, which makes it or prevents it from getting lost in the background. Now, when I'm working with stencils, mousses, texture paste, and things like that, I always keep some soapy water here off to the side, usually a little bit on the warmer side, to throw my stencil in until I get a chance to give it a good scrub. That keeps everything wet, and it also makes everything really, really easy to clean when it's all finished. My next card, I'm using the Captivating Mandala stencil from My Favorite Things. This one has a little, lot more thicker areas to the stencil and isn't as intricate as the previous card. So I'm going over now with some of the Tuscan Gold, which is a really, really beautiful color when it's all finished. Just spreading across as I did on the other card. Once I've spread over top and smoothed everything out, I wanted to create a little bit thicker of a layer than the last card to get a little bit more of a obvious result with the embellishment mousse. So I've now removed my stencil. I'm going to show you two angles, one from it heating from up top and one from it heating from the side to show how it bubbles up and what it really looks like. I hope this gives you a little bit of a better look. So once again here is your view from the top. You can see everything beginning to bubble up. Just creates that lovely texture and as I said for mixed media artists this is awesome. You're going to get some really cool backgrounds, really lovely little pieces whether you want to stencil an entire background or just add small elements. For us clean and simple crafters it adds a bit of texture to our stencils and just makes things a little bit more fun. And here is a look of it expanding from the side and I hope it gives you a little bit better of an appearance or a little bit more of a closer up look to it. You can see in the end I used another one of those really pretty word dies from Tonic. I did that in thanks, I cut out the background in white, and the thanks itself in some mirror gold cardstock. Now that you've seen this in action, I'm going to go a little bit quicker here when I'm adding some of the mousse. I wanted to show you some more artistic ways that you can use this in your card. I'm using a watercolor bouquet st or stencil from Altenew, and my goal for this one was to attempt to use multiple colors with one stencil, and not only that, but also to add layers to my stencil. So this is a layering stencil itself. This is what it works as. The part on the left layers over top. So I went ahead and added very thick layers of the Boatyard Blue as well as the Brimley Apple. And now I'm going over with the second part of the stencil and adding more. Now I did let this dry for about 20 minutes in between. So it's nearly dry, I would say, as I'm putting the stencil on here. I wanted to add a couple of different colors to it just to see what would happen and what would happen when I really built up that thickness and when I added multiple colors, how would they react? Would they melt into each other? Would they blend? Would they just sit on top of each other? It was kind of a mystery as I was doing it. So I wanted to add some Tuscan Gold here to the leaves on top to add a little bit of texture. Because the embellishment or the expanding mousse is still in a limited amount of colors, I had to really, it didn't have much color choice here because I didn't want anything to really clash. So I added some gold on top of the green and some of the linen or the off-white color on top of the blue. 
And I really kept things thick on purpose because I really wanted to get the effect of that expanding mousse on this card. So now going in lifting off the stencil as I would normally do and I am going to go ahead and show you the thickness here from the side. You can see just how thick I layered that on there and I'm going to go in and add the heat now. I am going to put you a little bit on a higher speed as I'm doing this just so you get the picture without having to wait too long. That bubbling effect really makes it super nice and it expanded quite a bit off the, my card and I love the texture. One of those things I love when people look at my cards is that moment of how did you do that, how did you create that. That's exactly what you're going to get when you create something like this. So I just cleaned up my edges a little bit with that palette knife and just playing around with the texture of it here. And you can see the final result here with the For You sentiment, which I think is just gorgeous. Now my last and final card is a quick holiday card. And I wanted to just show you with the antique linen. So as a clean and simple crafter, the antique linen was what I was drawn to straight away. And I first thought of snow, how you could create a textured snow if you used the right stencil. The stencil here is another one from My Favorite Things. And I'm just going over top of it now in order to create some snow for my card. Now comes my favorite part where I get to see the final reveal of the stencil. And I'm going to go ahead and heat that up now as well. Now just finishing up here with that final background in which I laid over top a beautiful intricate Seasons Greeting stamp, or die rather, also cut in that gold mirror cardstock from Tonic, which seriously, I am addicted to right now. And it is just a stunning creation. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video on expanding mousse. If you have any questions or anything, I can do my best to try and answer them or experiment with them here. But overall, they are a really fun product to play with. Here's a final look at all of the cards that I created in today's video. Adding those really wonderful dies from Tonic, which by the way are a great price, and the beautiful textures of the expanding mousse, which is also fun to add to your collection, or to add to your collection if you already own some of the regular mousse already. Thanks for watching everyone. If you're interested at all in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click on a suggestion that I have below, or you can click that subscribe button in the red box as well as the bell to be notified of any sort of upcoming videos and all the likes help with engagement and help my channel grow. So thank you very much for considering doing that and I will see you soon for another video. Bye bye!